I'm Paul Garson. I'm a writer and a journalist from Los Angeles, California. I've been using telescopes and watching the sky since I was 12 years old. I've seen a vast number of anomalous objects that were beyond the scope of human technology. For some time, I was a MUFON field investigator. I took part in several national, regional, and local meetings. So I have a kind of a penchant to, to look into the uh, unexplained. September 27th, 2015. I was actually in the Westwood area of Los Angeles. I go out to see the lunar eclipse. I'm joined by several of my neighbors. We're all standing on the corner, but it's cloudy. So they give up because they don't believe they can see the lunar eclipse. However, I had this hunch. Something told me to stay. So I remain standing there on the corner. And as I look up, I see this object about the size of two or three football fields, slowly gliding through the air without a sound. I began taking photographs, and that is the image that you have. The sighting itself lasted approximately five minutes. I must have taken at least a dozen photographs. I felt fascinated, awestruck. I had the feeling, I call it the gut feeling, that I was seeing something not from this world. After the first few photographs, a beam of light appeared. At first, I thought it was coming from the object. However, then I realized it was not coming from the object, but coming from overhead and apparently targeting the object. In my opinion, it was one of our Star Wars satellites firing a laser at it. Because you know, the Star Wars satellite system that was installed many years ago, supposedly to knock down Russian ICBMs, is still in existence. They say the government is concealing the information, and there may be a real reason behind that. So some people believe that those are up there as a safeguard against other vehicles, non-terrestrial in origin. I was certain that this object was being targeted by some of our technology. In my opinion, this was a non-terrestrial craft because of its immense size, its low altitude, the lack of any sound or any indication of propulsion. If it was a human vehicle, it was violating all sorts of codes and so forth, flying no more than 500 to 1,000 feet, probably lower because it was just over the rooftops. I've seen air balloons. I've seen you know, dirigibles. I'm familiar with all kinds of human craft in operation. This was different. I was absolutely certain I was experiencing a, a non-terrestrial spacecraft. The next day, I looked on the internet to see if anybody else had seen the object, and that's when I discovered all the other additional photographs of people spotting anomalous objects. I think space is crowded like one of our freeways. I think there's spacecraft that are coming here as scientists, as merchants, as explorers. Maybe there's teenage aliens doing their homework projects on Earth. So I think it was just coincidental that the sighting coincided with the lunar eclipse. I'm looking forward to the time when you turn on the news and there is an announcement. Contact has been made. The universe is full of life and full of intelligent life. And hopefully one day we will be one of the intelligent life. I'm waiting for that day.